My name is Joseph Jordan, and I'm a graduate student at the University of Arkansas studying geographic information systems. I've always had a great passion for adventure and discovery, and for me, the greatest adventures are not only found rappelling into deep, dark pits or discovering new unexplored passageways and caves, but also in discovering new methods in science to solve current issues on the local and the global scale. The National Park Service has the difficult job of protecting the valuable and highly delicate resources we have at the Buffalo National River, while also allowing for some research to take place. Caves are important natural resources, but often don't get the attention they deserve. Karst features serve as an important window into the subsurface, allowing us to study groundwater as well as a large spectrum of unique biological resources. The first step in managing any natural resource, including caves, should be ascertaining the locations and spatial extent of that resource. Similarly, the greatest scientific observations and inquiries first require a frame of reference. In many ways, the fundamental building block for all karst research is the cave survey. My thesis research is focused on the way cave surveys are done currently and ways they could be improved with modern technology through the use of 3D scanning techniques. I believe that 3D cave modeling methods will constitute the next generation of cave survey. Specifically, I am looking at ways Ozark caves can be mapped in 3D with nothing but a digital camera and some inexpensive software. The system I am using is based on photogrammetric techniques. It is non-invasive, rugged enough to handle harsher cave environments, and extremely cheap compared to alternative scanning methods. For my research, I use the Agisoft PhotoScan software package to match common points in the photos. These key points help to extract the depth of the scene, creating a large point cloud, which is later transformed into a full color texture mesh model. Finished models can be rotated interactively. You can fly through them using visualization software, or more traditional 2D cross sections, profile, and plan view maps can be extracted from slicing through the finished point cloud. While more comprehensive accuracy testing still needs to be completed, it is interesting to see that the plan views extracted from the model closely resemble traditional compass and tape surveys. At the moment, 3D scans of caves mainly serve as an alternative method of surveying and visualizing caves. In the near future, virtual reality cave tours, holographic projections of cave systems, and automated bat counting algorithms could become reality.